What's up, everybody? Tyler Brown here with Future DDS. Terrell Friday here with Future DDS. And today we're going to talk about how important sleep is in dental school. Let's get it. So the first thing that we want to say is sleep is subjective. Some people don't need a lot of sleep, like Terrell, whereas I need my recommended eight hours a day. <laughs> yeah. So basically what he's saying is how someone like me maybe only needs to get three or four hours of sleep at night and I can take a nap throughout the day. Uh, he needs to definitely get his seven or eight hours at night so that he's making sure he's the most productive that next day. So an ideal day for me, I'll go to class and I'll study, but then I try to get into bed at 10 p.m. Now, it sounds like a, a childish bedtime, but uh, I definitely try to make this, uh, make this happen so that I can wake up in the morning and go to the gym and basically prep for my day. So if I'm going to sleep at 10, I usually am waking up at six. Now, say that doesn't happen. Say I go to sleep at 12.30, you know, I, I start watching uh, Westworld or something. Um, I go to sleep at 12.30, my entire day will be messed up the next day. And if, you, if you're in dental school, you know that every day counts. Every day. All right, so yeah, basically every day does count. I may go to sleep around two, three o'clock. I'll get up around six, okay? So that's three or four hours of sleep overnight. Um, see, Tyler, he's more of a, on a structured schedule of, you know, seven hours now, going to the gym at this time, this time to this time. Me, I'm a little bit more fluid. I have a lot of hobbies and I have a lot of things I like to do in my downtime to try to relieve the stress from school. So say for instance, I might be up watching a movie or working on music or working on, you know, vlog posts, editing a vlog post, something like that. Or maybe I'm just feeling really productive at night. I'll take the initiative to just get up and get something done during that time, whether it's an hour of studying or two hours of studying. So, you know, get a coffee. So usually use coffee or something like that to get me through. And then in the afternoon when I'm done with classes, and done with lab, I can either elect to go get a nap then or just study if I'm not too tired and then go to bed earlier that night. Sometimes uh, it's not necessarily the most beneficial thing. Like it's been plenty of days I wake up, it's like six o'clock in the morning. I'm just sitting at my desk, you know, like literally sitting straight up at my desk. They're mocking. The sleep definitely catches up to me, but those are some of the days where like, I'll struggle through that day and I'll just, you know, knock out work as much as I can and I'll fall asleep early that next day and get up, you know what I mean? Like fall asleep early and catch up or reset my cycle so that I'm not too much off and I'm not like hindering my, my progress uh, with school and like making it to class and everything. So one thing that me and Terrell can both agree on is that pulling an all-nighter before the night of the test is not a good idea. I, I used to do it all the time in undergrad, even in my master's program. I don't know what it is about dental school. Literally, I have to go into the test with a well-rested <laughs> mind. I remember one of the, what test was it? I think it was my first nutrition test. Um, I had studied all night, um, just trying to cram, cram, cram. Mm. I literally got to the test, didn't know anything. Bro. And all I could think about was how ready I was to get into my bed. Hey, bro blinking I, mean, I could say something similar about like idp man like i kind of waited till last minute not gonna lie uh thinking it was you know a pass fail course or whatever but when i got into the test like it was things that i was reading and thought i knew cold that i was just so confused on you know what i mean like you read it one way i mean you might read a question and misinterpret the question you might just re misread a word you might misread the answer choices it's just having a clear mind is something that only comes with rest a good meal you know it's like little things that you just have to make sure you take care of going into big big things like finals big tests big exams big competencies so uh like like you said definitely we can agree on that uh get your rest make sure you get your rest make sure you get a good meal make sure you're prepared prepare and get up a couple of hours before the test oh, yeah, definitely. don't try to just roll out of bed and go oh, yeah. into the test like you're gonna be groggy you're gonna be tired you're gonna be hungry like it's just it's not the best look so definitely get your rest so Terrell, what's something that helps you stay attentive throughout the day? Hmm, I'm glad you asked that, Tyler. Okay. So, one thing I can definitely say is make sure you get your caffeine, all right? Like, <laughs> no, just joking, but anyway. <laughs> like True. definitely uh, caffeine, caffeine mm -hmm. pills, 
Um, I don't necessarily like to drink caffeine, coffee all the time, but caffeine pills help. I like the juice in the morning, so I get like a lot of fruits, uh, kale, kind of, you know, uh, plant-based, you know, that's definitely helps with the energy. Taking a little nap, whatever, whatever needs to happen, like I do it in the middle of the day. Tyler, he might be a little different. He has a little, couple different things to help him stay up. Yeah, yeah, so what I do, um, if I see myself dozing within class or whatever it may be, I literally just stand up, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know what up. it is. Like it might be that people are looking at me mm -hmm. that makes me become more attentive. Um, but I usually feel like this will help me out for a good, you know, 15 minutes, and then I start to to doze again. Mm -hmm. Something else that we can do. I don't necessarily do it all the time, but it has helped me in the past. Is uh taking a little break and just like going to the gym, getting your blood flowing, taking a True. walk, something True. like that. Uh, you know, even if you just have to step out of class and walk down the hall, come back. Uh, you know, it can definitely help you out getting through the rest of that class and getting you through so, you know, you can go get a nap, go get a meal, you know, whatever is uh, hindering you at that time, so. Or what you could do is ask your teacher questions, you know, I think we're, yeah. a lot of us are accustomed to just listening and receiving information. Um, you know, if you raise your hand and ask a question and your teacher's looking at you, I think there's a less of a chance of you, you know, closing your eyes because you know that uh, the focus is on you, so that might help a little bit also. So something that I actually just learned about coming to dental school um, is meditation. Our school gives meditation seminars every week. Um, I try to make them, but I think Terrell is a little bit more versed in the subject. Yeah, so I mean, I've been to a few of the seminars here as well as like I practice a little bit of meditation on my own. Um, I can definitely say like having that meditative practice is something that can help you with your energy. It's not necessarily the only thing that you have to do but it can be beneficial. It just helps you like clear mental space or like studying isn't as much of a chore, you know, just like having to be in, be in school or like having to like deal with little things. It just helps helps you clear mental space so that you're not getting as taxed or as fatigued by going through like regular, regular daily tasks and making sure you keep a schedule and stuff like that. So, I mean, meditation just helps you like refocus um, one thing and just like making sure you're, you're constantly like reevaluating what your what your constant goal is and taking that break that you need to do to just detach from everything. You need to do to just detach from everything. Disattach? What'd you say? Unattach yourself from everything. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay y'all, so we're gonna be posting this video on December twenty seventh. So we wanna go ahead and give our early congratulations to everybody who gets into dental school this Friday. Yep, shout out to you, congrats. Also, we took over a uh, future dentist Snapchat. It's gonna be future dentists go over snapchat check them out uh we just took over snapchat today like we said we follow us through today see what we did um also like comment subscribe down below also go over to ig follow us at underscore future dds all right thank you guys as always check us out next week thank you get all rest right, yeah, yeah. <laughs>